here. Hey, hey, quiet down over there. Hey, I'm working. People are trying to listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today, we're working on the rail from hell. We are starting with the steering. Heck yeah. Yep, so plans change all the time because this is a custom build, so nothing is normal about it. So we have to go back and forth on trying different things until it works out the way we need it to work. What we're running into, see this bar running across here? Our feet are now interfering with that. And the problem with that is you won't be able to put a gas pedal, brake pedal. I mean, who needs brake pedal? I only use the gas pedal. I don't exactly. Like it. Just throw it in reverse <laughs> and floor it. But if you guys like this video and want to see more of it, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. Because this thing is coming together and it's looking sick. A little hotter, huh? Yep. So we're about to weld some stuff with the new Jags welder. Cole is his first time using this welder, so he's getting acclimated with, with the way it behaves. It's freaking sick. Right? He's never uh, welded with uh, hard wire, so this is new. Here we go. So your wire speed's a little little low, but that's that's looking a lot better. It's down in, because that was the first weld. It was up on yeah. top like a Caterpillar. Caterpillar, now it's getting down in there. A little bit more wire speed, and that would be perfect. Okay. Up a yep. yep, perfect. You think a little more heat or not? Nah? Yeah, you can even tell. See, look right here. It started to, it was exploding before it was touching the metal. <laughs> That's why it was also drawn back after I came off of it. Yep. Yeah. Snippers. Oh, where'd those uh, fancy cutters oh, go? Those ones. The ones. Everything's been in front of my face today, <laughs> and I haven't seen it. Keep in mind, the reason why it's popping kind of weird, we did not clean this metal before welding on it, but I'd say it's a pretty damn good weld right there. This weld's nice, I like it. You like this weld, I only huh? threw like three on there already, or four, yeah. and I can already tell. So we got this welder from Jegs. If you guys want to get one, it's only like 550 bucks. And I suggest get one if you want a nice, simple welder. So yeah. we got the steering box moved over. Uh, we had to cut the old one off because the guy that owned this prior welded the uh, the uh, rubber joint on there. So we cut that off, we're putting a nice U-joint on there. Got the arm over there, we got the new one cut out. So Cole's gonna weld that up uh, now that he has some practice. Here we yeah. go. all welded up beautiful beautiful how do you like that welder from jigs freaking awesome i love it it's gonna take some getting used to i'm so used to flux core and going to hardwire again i haven't welded with hardwire for a long time but it's when it's on it's on it's on so what are we gonna do next cole looks all pretty don't judge my welds um so, what do you do so next? we got the angles done right so now you guys can see what we were talking about if you didn't follow us. Basically, we just flipped it. So left hand drive to right hand drive. And now the, everything that crossbar has been taking out of here, a lot more room for activities. Yep, plenty of room for pedals now. We can even move back a little bit. I have a foot, a heel stop right here. Look at that, boom. We need a steering wheel on this thing. I think we'll get that in today. You wanna get a steering wheel on it? Yeah. I want to push you down the street in this like you're a little kids in a go-kart. I don't have any 7 8 rod though, I got some plastic pipe from Mako. Plastic pipe will work, we'll just twist the shit out of it. <laughs> we'll put a bolt through it. <laughs> yeah, just put a bolt through it. It'll work. <laughs> Do it. Just get a broomstick, you got plenty up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so steering's done. Now the next problem is where I put this speed bump 
to hold your butt in place. It's, uh, it's a little too far back, so it's pushing your head above the bars. And then it's also causing uh, issues with the pedals. So we got to have to cut all those spot welds off that I spent all this time on. We got to move that forward approximately two inches and then re-weld it on. So that's a little repetitive. Custom seat custom is custom, equals baby. a lot of problems. Custom seat, well, not <laughs> only the custom seat, but the fact that the ride height is what it is. Yeah. If the ride height is, wasn't as low as it is, we could almost go with a generic seat style. Oh yeah. This is so low. I mean, it's ridiculously low. Like, I know that the camera really doesn't show it justice about how truthfully low this is. People have mentioned like, oh, I want to take the racing seat like out of the go-kart. Well, look, it, at, look at you standing in there. I mean, if that doesn't do justice right yeah. there. Basically. <laughs> I mean, gives you a good idea. So yeah. nonetheless, we have to make a custom seat like we did. And it is just not a natural way you sit in a car, but it is way more comfortable. Oh, it's super it's, comfortable. Sitting in there, I'm like. That's like a recliner. Yeah. Get your lazy boy. Yeah, right. Lazy boy on wheels with a V8. All right, dude. Get to cutting. All right, guys, so we just got the uh, speed bump that we're talking about uh, pulled out. Everything's been grinded flat. We reshaped everything. And now we moved this line forward towards the feet and about two and a half, two and a half inches from this point. Yep. So from here to there is two and a half. It's going to allow you to sit, to sit down more into the bottom, a little more comfortably. Your head's going to be able to rest on that. Just a little minor adjustment we had to do. It took us like 10 minutes to get that loose. Uh, we're gonna get that tacked back in, test it back out, which I should believe that that'll be no issues at all. It'll be way better. Craig's finishing up with the steering up here, and we probably are gonna be getting a lower windshield bar mount and steering across wheel. here, and we'll be able to put the bearing in and the mount for the steering rack, and we will be able to kind of feel what it's gonna feel like to drive this thing around. We won't have the steering column, so to speak, but we. We'll have something we could probably mock it up with for yeah. temporary just this, to see how it looks. This is what I have for mock up. Because seven eighths, I don't know why I chose seven eighths. It's a tough bar to find or tougher. Three quarter would have been easier. I could have just went to Lowe's and got it. But um, so CPVC. All right, got the new speed bump put in. Now, when you sit in there, it is way more natural. Got a piece of plastic here to mock up the steering with the bearing. And then now we're about to cut the bar, notch it, that goes between here and here, and then uh, pretty soon we'll have a steering wheel in here. We won't leave it in here because that steering wheel is going to get yeah. damaged if it stays in here. Yeah. So we'll put it in here for today's purpose, and we'll be able to steer this thing. I mean, we could potentially drill a hole in things and make it work, but yeah, it's not we, today. We know it works. So. Yeah, once I get the rod, now we know how much we need, I can just order that section. And, mm -hmm. Cause I'm gonna have to special order it. Everywhere else, I have to, they want me to buy like 20 feet yeah. of for a whopping four feet about. So that's a couple hundred dollars. Just for a steering column. Yeah, for a steering column. So I just wanna order what we need for that. So let's get to notching that out and then pretty soon we'll have steering wheel on it. Hell yeah. All right, got the prize possession out. So for everyone that hasn't seen the other video, this came out of CT's Corvette. So it's kind of a, prized possession of his and his buddy Corey Conyers yep custom yeah. built it in form so it's really nice that uh he's bringing some of the stuff that he's had in his other cars to actually be able to be in the new car yep. so it's it's going to be kind of cool he gets to kind of carry that on with him yep so we're going to bolt this together looks like I'm actually clearing these holes out a little bit which I really did not want to do yeah just the diameter yeah just the diameter is a little bit different So using a step bit? Yeah. Shouldn't be, be real nasty. Sharp. Oh yeah. That's sharp as can be. I think it's aluminum. Aluminium? Could be steel. Definitely some copper showing through now. From the chrome plating. Yeah. There it is. That's the size we need. Perfect. Like a glove. All right, so Craig's gonna finish removing those out. And once he's done with that, we will move on and uh, show you guys how this is gonna look. It's getting there. That's just mocked up right now. It's just sitting in there. That's how tight we make our cuts. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna weld that in and then we'll have the uh, um, steering setup welded together. And then we'll have our mock-up pipe 
and then we'll be able to see where that steering wheel is going to sit. So hang tight. Oops. Oh, look what we have here. <laughs> well, when you build custom cars, custom problems arise. So what we ran into. Let's get the steering on there. Is. Just going, yeah, slide the steering back on there. All right, here we go. Okay. So show them where it used to be. So where it used to be was literally, so that's about four inches, used to be about here. Well, not just because it's this steering wheel, but because it's any steering wheel, because it's the same diameter we're dealing with. You turn it, it would come in here and it would hit your gut. You could lose your hand spacing on, you lose your hand placement on the steering wheel and you'd be hitting almost this. By us increasing this, you don't notice the difference at all. I mean, a slight. If you knew what it looked like before, a slight. But once you do this, we gain eyesight so that when we're driving up to stoplights and whatnot, we can actually see things. Yep. Our field of view becomes less obstructed. And then when we have this, look at this. It changes the whole problem. I can actually one-handed turn this. It doesn't hit my hand on the, on the roof. It doesn't hit my hand down here. I can keep my hand on the steering wheel. It's safer, way more comfortable, problem solved. So like we are trying to tell you guys, we aren't hiding anything. If we run into a problem, you're going to see it just like this. Yep. So obviously when you run into things, you want to be perfect. You want to look good for the camera, but you know what? This is real life. You get to see it when we see it. We're not hiding it. We're going to fix this. So we're going to end up sleeping this. this. Well, so would but, you say we should have had the seat before we built the cab? Should have had the seat before we built the cab. We got a little cart before the horse. If you want to say it that <laughs> way. We got the cart before the horse. We got a little Live and learn. But you know what? We're here now. It's going to be fixed pretty damn easy. We'll grind all this smooth. We'll add that section. We'll lengthen it. We'll weld it. Problem solved. And to be honest with you, it already just, it feels like it should have been this way from the get go, but we never had the seat to actually reference anything to. Yeah. So, and honestly, it looks really cool. It didn't change much at it did, all. It changed nothing. So now the roof is actually level. It used to slant down. And I think level actually looks a lot better. Well, level also gives you more light. I mean, Yes, rat rod, whatever you're trying to call this thing. When you have a rat rod component to this, you see rat rod guys like this looking through the windshield trying to see stuff. So like, here's, here's eye it. level with Cole right now. And it's kind of, the, the lens is kind of giving it a wide angle, just a hair, but you can see the upper bar. So if you're looking at a stoplight, you know, that's way up here. Above this. Yeah. yeah. So, but it used to be here. It used to be here. Now it's here. So yep. you can see, and it, all I have to do is just this a little bit. Yep. It's a little car. You're going to have to do stuff like that, but it was... It just wasn't. What what do people do in rat rods? Uh, this. Yeah. So and you're not it's having normal. This car. It's it's normal for a rat yeah. rod. But this, I mean, look at this. Now my head is actually laying on the headrest. My head bevel's coming back. This is here. I can now steer like how CT was steering in his Stingray. It's the same style. He has a steering wheel that looks appropriate to the vehicle, working appropriately. You can always have something look a certain way, but if you do not like driving it, what's the point? Yeah. And this is more comfortable. It looks just as good. You're not going to notice any difference in the styling or the way it looks. It It's just what we had to do. Heck yeah. So, so let's get to sleeving this and uh, we will have the cab done today. Yep. And the string will finally like, like be fully mocked up. Yeah. Completed. Like done, done. <laughs> yep. And then the next video, we'll hopefully have the gas pedals in and then we'll start putting all these goodies on from the, the car video. one by one. Yeah. All the goodies from the last video. We'll yeah. start going in here. Yeah. And then, uh, God dang, man, we might be able to have this thing turning over pretty soon. Yeah, after this major stuff gets done, the little things are going to be so much yeah, easier. Get a starter and start cranking it. Yeah, I can't wait to fire this thing up. It's, gonna it's getting close. It sounds so sick. Yep. So, All right, here, All we, right, go. here we go. All right, guys, so Craig is getting through well enough the front end again. Can't even freaking tell. I mean, look how pretty. Like it never happened. Like it, like it what? Like it never happened. Like it never happened, exactly. We don't make mistakes here. We're not human. True that. <laughs> and in the back here, guys, we got the uh, back brace bar uh, connecting. We've been talking about that for a while. We finally got that in. It looks sick. I like that. Yeah, it, it's kind of funny. It's like it, everybody's saying the car is long. Well, it kind of shortened it up. That's all Cole's idea there. Mm. I was against it. Uh, kind of. Yeah. 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 So it looks good. Now that's there. It was my idea. It I'll, I'll, ta I'll take it. Take credit into the nodes over here so what's kind of cool is the bottom node right here actually intersects up here it gives it a cool design feature but that's exactly where you want it to end up anyway off that point and that's where the strongest part is this other side over here i got to get it in 
I already have it cut. It's laying down there. Uh, I got to notch out the backside, put that in, weld it up. Craig's going to finish welding this up. We are going to roll this out on the pad to look at it in the daylight because now we actually have a mocked up steering column with the steering wheel, with the bottom bar again for the windshield, the entire seat pan's corrected. Maybe you and I might get a little cozy in here and see uh, how two people fit together in here. Can we cuddle? Because well, you can cuddle if you want. <laughs> I ain't going to bite. Anyway, <laughs> so CT is, uh, uh, CT's wife is really excited about this and he's like it has to be a two-seater because it was going to be a one-seater but he said absolutely a two-seater and uh, we're going to see how comfortable two people can sit in this because it is a little tight but not bad um i think it's going to be a little bit uh surprising how comfortable it's going to be so yeah we're going to finish welding this up and we'll get to it all right guys so we're outside we pulled it out of the garage and you wanted to know what it looked like with two of us in here well Okay. There it is. <laughs> We're almost cuddling. Almost cuddling. Well, I can get over here a little bit. If you want to cuddle. There you go. See? Everything's falling out of my pockets. See, we got room. Yeah. So, not too bad. Yeah. Actually, we're not even touching shoulder to shoulder, which is pretty surprising. Right. It's just seemingly roomy. It is. So, this is going to turn out <laughs> sick. Here you go, CT. Here's a uh, on board. Move your hands down. There. There you go. Right there. There's the steering wheel. Cameras don't really portray it very well, but it looks sick. That's how roomy it is. We fit in here perfectly now. Heck yeah. This steering Wait, wheel is You gotta shit. be sitting like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is, this and is then, the hot, you gotta be like a hot rod. If man. you have calluses, you can just put them on the ground. Yeah, just grind them off a little yeah. bit, get your nails done. Yeah. Get your nails <laughs> File your nails down. <laughs> but this is really nice. I mean, so I am six foot one. Craig's 5'10. Yep. So. Even being six foot one, if I'm sitting in here, you gotta remember we back here. This is perfect. I can see out. Yep. Craig's five ten, right? I said. Yeah. So then you're you're able to see out just as good as I am. So it it worked out sick. This thing's gonna feel like a damn rocket ship. Yeah. It really does. Like you're just you're laying down. You're looking straight ahead. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's turned out awesome. All right, guys. So we're gonna leave it off there. If you are liking what you're seeing, if you're enjoying this, we don't just do this. We have our other cars. We do other shenanigans. But if you do like this stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this. You got to make sure you follow us on Instagram and TikTok too. Facebook as well. We also have a Jake's link below for special discounts. Go check them out. That badass welder that you're seeing us weld with, from Jake's. Yeah. So, awesome discounts. Use our link. You'll actually get better discounts. So, with that, check us next time. Thank you guys.